Come on. Right here, right here. Come here, Sandy. She likes money too. Sandy, come here. Uh, golden doodle. Are you sure? I don't know. My psychiatrist said she can't help me. Oh, okay. Now, see, you didn't specify that. Oh, hold on. You take that. Well, you don't need that, but you need to want that. Come here, Sandy. Come on. You got your face shaved. Yeah. 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 You You're talking about her, not me, right? Because yeah. I still got it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, she definitely looks different. <laughs> Let me see. I haven't seen her. Are you passing her? So, yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah, she shaved her. She definitely did. Her face off. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You look so cute. She looks like a little lion. Yeah, I know. So her hair's so, You my favorite Oh, I need a signature. My signature will will ruin the value of any document I put it on. See, famous people, they get, you know, their autograph is worth something. Yeah. My autograph actually brings down the value. Sorry, mine probably does too. See, I'm really hoping on um, identity theft mm -hmm. because I owe the IRS $10,000 and I'm hoping somebody will steal my identity and have to pay the $10,000 <laughs> for the IRS. All right. 50, 1, 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 153. Okay. I got another thing. Okay. I got actually two other things. Um, that was 150. I need a total of 220. Okay. Uh, so that's 153. I'm going to let you do the math because I've lost my mind. 67. You need that from your account? If you don't mind, yeah, please no and thank you. All right, just a signature. See that. The police were really being a pain in the butt to me. Oh, really? So um, I stole one of their police cars and scrapped the motor out of it. I figured that's my way of getting back. Okay. <laughs> How'd you get away with that? <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> you hope. Or you have one more thing? 50, yeah, 60, the other 60, thing 60, isn't going to be pleasant. All right, 67. 
I open my account mm -hmm. using an address in Lebanon. Yeah. Afterwards, I change my address to 35 Ridgely Street, Mount Holly, New Jersey, 08060, okay. to show that I live in New Jersey so I could get my license. Okay. I don't live there, but, that you know, it, it's just paperwork. Okay. I later on came to the bank. And they changed my address to an address, 186 Fairfax Drive. Okay. And I made a huge stink about it and said, never change my address there again. Okay. Because that person that lives there, the next time I see them, okay. they're not going to live there anymore. Okay. I hate them. Okay. Do you want to change your address again? I want to know why who, why it was ever changed to that address. Yeah, so, yeah, because I know at one point in time we had a notice whenever the post office says, comes back with mail and says that it's not a good address, we have to have you update it again. Um, I didn't update it. I have no problem if the mail gets lost. Mm -hmm. I do have a problem if it goes to that address. A okay. serious problem. And this is the second time you guys changed it to that address. Well, without we can't my... change it without a signature. So who signed it to go to that address? I'm Okay, I lie. We. That's okay. Guess, People lie to me no, all no, the no. time. And I'm, I'm not. I don't mean to lie, but if, I guess you had. I'm gonna have to check with our back office only because we didn't have a signature, but we had. Mail that was forwarded to that, that address. I did not forward it to that address, and I never want it to be forwarded to that address. So, who lives at 35 Bridges? The person that bought my mom's house. Okay. I lived there for thirty years. There? How would they know to forward it I to that know. address? And that's because that's, I have no idea. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, let me call our back office. Mm -hmm. Hey, Becky, it's Alan. Hey, um, can you see an account with me? Yeah. Okay, um, I'll give you the zip because you'll have to go into the zip anyway. Um, BAB1843. <laughs> That's um, okay, so if you look in documents, um, if you wanted to know who changed his address to 
How much? Okay. She's That's why it's so That's putting it mildly. these notices from the post office we have to change the address for what they give us um I see i put out. a fraud case into the pro post office yeah you did. they never called me back okay because I, I was i'm going to print this out for you so that you have proof of what they did so if you want to take this to them and to the post office yeah, you mean absolutely. and then yeah. roll it up and do whatever you want with it yeah the eavesdrop on your thing but the post office is a joke right now the whole government is a joke right now we have mail that's been stolen checks that we tried to cash that out of the mailbox okay. mail not going to our address going to the other end of town but that's just them screwing up i got bigger issues to oh, deal okay. with <laughs> yeah um and I've talked to the police before, and they pretty much said, do not ever call us back. So I don't have to worry about if something happens to call the police because they said never call them back. When they stole these checks, they tried to cash them up at the corner there. Mm -hmm. They had photos of them. They found the car. Oh, the postal inspector in Harrisburg or the post, wherever they are, general. You know what it was told? Since it isn't over ten thousand dollars, I'm not gonna bother. There's a solution to that. If they want your stuff, give them your lead. Your lead. Yeah. Guarantee you they'll never do it again. Right, Sandy?
comes to me.